Uh, this was the first group um, research night for the Blue Mountain Zero research. And um, everyone had a really, really good time. So basically we all got to Murphy's Glen campground at Woodford in the Blue Mountains uh, between uh, 11 to 30. Um, me and Leon nearly um, had a car accident uh, with a young hoon local driving like a rally driver and um, come around the corner and lost it and nearly slammed into us but quick reactions of Leon saved a lot of time and hassle and um, someone one of us could have got hurt as well. Um, but due to the uh, humid conditions and the rain setting in we weren't able to do as much as we wanted to do um, so basically after we had a look around along the trail and come back had something to eat the rain kept us at the campground uh, we couldn't do much in the uh, research at night other than listening and but we all had a really good time and meeting up for the first time and um, we hope to all do it again very soon so if you want to join in please um, just put your hand up and uh, let us know because we are going to plan something soon and if you have got a site um, that you want us to try and have a look at just let me know and we'll all go there thanks very much all right Lachlan All right, we're at Woodford, and we're on the trail. And uh, yeah, if you keep going through the waterfalls there, if you go over this way, it makes it easier. Let's check out this little cave. It's not really a cave. Pretty wet here, so you had to stay out of the, uh, the water for rain. We're on our way down, try and get to where. <laughs> Got the rocky ledges around here. There he is, Adam's enjoying himself. Very, very humid. <laughs> it just said like 44% humidity on the internet, and I went, it's not 44, it's about. Can you bring my uh, much? Watch. Yeah. Hey look, there's a big pool down here, this is it, look. Yeah, I see it. That's where we want to get down to. Alright, well it wasn't really that far. They could have come along, but getting up here I think the girls might have struggled with jeans on and... <laughs> so, uh... Ah, oh, Lachlan goes alright. He, uh... Yeah, oh, I thought of that too, but I just didn't have a room in Leon's car. I have room, I forgot. Ah, that always happens. I forgot a cup, so I'm telling everyone to bring a cup. And what do I do? Forget it. So what I do, I had to go to Macca's and I bought a thick shake. So there's my cup. <laughs> Things you do. Got everything else. So I forgot one thing. Ready by the muscle. Put Over one down for a nap. A bit of sand in it and that one's touched it. Yeah, look at that. Nice little. Wow, man. Tell the girls they should have come here. There's enough of a nice little waterfall and a big pill to swim. Can they hear you? No. No. If I press. Oh no, press it. Tell them. Hey, 
Hey, this is a nice area. Come down here for swimming. Look at that. It's actually not a creek, it's actually here. Yeah, you can swim in here. How nice is that? He's telling me. I pressed the okay message earlier to send a message to my missus yeah. to say I'm okay and all good, and it sends my coordinates too. Sweet. GPS coordinates. So. That's just flashing, telling me that. Sent the message, it's all good. About it. Let's. They should have come down. Yeah. That's brilliant. Man, you know, I want to try and get somewhere in, around here. Maybe I don't know. Where you reckon's a good place to set up? Get over that other side, Look at that. Something can be right just in there, and because it's so thick, you're not going to see it. It's just, you'd only hear it. This would be good down here at night, you'd hear everything. Alright, we're going to set up the trail cam and the sound recorder. We'll get back to you, someone's been fishing. Uh, Alright. I just heard a noise. Don't know what it was, but it was over there. There's the water in here. It's just over near that tree. I'm just panning out a bit. Could have been a wallaby, could have been a wild bird, just something new. Could have been anything. But this is a fantastic area here. Nice little water and hole to go for a swim. There's a nice little rock ledge for us to walk along. And we come in just through there. And it's taken us not even an hour to get here. Near, but it's someone's walked in their shoes, see? Someone's been here before us. Barefoot, see? Small yeah. kid. Uh, there's no, you can see the truck. This is a shoe. A yeah, shoe. Yeah. That looks like toes, you see? It does, though. Probably is. It does look like toes, though. See, this is a so toe, yeah, toe, toes here, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's kind of a kid, not some... Kid or a gentity. Hey! It could be, man. I'm going to take a photo. Uh, Adam's done a good job at doing the cast. Tried, anyway. Tried, I see what we get. Enough in the, the little container. Yeah, we just four, had a... That's just a little of the, uh... Of the, um... Of the billy I got, so... I'll have to clean that up. One of the difficulties... Field, we, field research. This is where we found it, leading to that wide area of the creek, or a bit of a river. And then it's sandy area here, so my trail camera is right on that tree there. So if anything comes through again, I'm going to leave it for the night and I'm going to leave the sound recorder somewhere just up here because if that's a trail there I'll just leave it next to it something comes walking through there overnight right in here someone comes walking through there I can get it so fingers crossed 
We're getting a few sprinkles now, so that storm they said might be coming in later, so we've got about half an hour to get back. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the hardest bit is just getting up that bit up there. So other than that, it's pretty flat. And then before you know it, once you're back at that waterfall, you're on the trail and you're walking back. So it's a nice area, this. Um, be good for a nice swim. But there was a platypus just over there where that little tree there is hanging, little branch. And I did say echidna, <laughs> but it is a platypus. Got, I think I got the uh, Australian animals mixed up there, didn't I? Adam was quick to correct me. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's the echidna. I was like, oh, you idiot. Anyway. And it is a bit cloudy. Clouds are coming over. And then uh, Creek goes into there and that's where we got the print and the trail just goes straight up back up there. It's about half an hour to get back. Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out alright. So after the oh, that work. we got the cast out. Uh, it looks like it's a young kiddo. Maybe a 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 13. Early teens. teens. Early teens. Because now you can see these toes that we couldn't see before up here. And now, if I get my measuring tape out, you watch this will be 10 and a half, and it'll be that same individual before he stepped in the water where the wet footprint put there made the footprint look aged. Okay, at least we got something. At least we like we you couldn't really tell. Here, but, my tape. Tell me but uh, Is tape? measuring tape. Oh, yeah, Can I open it? Yes, please. So okay, measure, from the right? heel here. To the big toe here. And that, uh, ten bucks says it's ten and a half. Yeah, so like this. Um, ten and a half exactly. It's the yeah, same individual. Same guy. It just looks smaller, didn't it? Yeah, because we didn't see the toes. Without the toes, see, that's what we were seeing. Yeah. And see, we were looking here for the arch, and the arch was here. You see that? But we could see it better with, once we got that out. Yeah. When you know. get it out, you can see this is a human arch. The yaois are mostly flat-footed, they don't have an arch like this. Okay, because I find yaois prints all the time and they don't look like this. And that, the and also the heels are normally a little uh, narrower and much wider here. You can see that's a that's perfect pro proportion. If I put my foot on there, it would be a very similar shape. My right foot on that. So. Cool. All right, we've got our answer. Now it's time to get back before it starts raining. Yeah, and we can show the guys, you know. Yeah. So we did a fast cast and that way we were able to analyze the trip. Uh, it's getting a bit dark. It's about 7.30. We've got tents and girls are cooking something to eat. A little bit of a drizzle. And you can hear the uh, cockies going off. A bit dark, but... Adam's over there with his uh, car getting things ready. There's a few people around here, but it's not that dark, but... Camera doesn't see much light. Okay. Lachlan's, okay. Got his, Lachlan's got his Australian cricket hat on. It's not me, it's, it's bloody Kings Canyon. Hat, Kings Canyon, mate. I got it wrong, it's Kings Canyon. Kings uh, Canyon hat, Kings mate. Canyon Cricket Club. Yeah, Kings Canyon Cricket Club. <laughs> Kings Canyon, where I nearly died. Alright, you're here now and you're enjoying a. What, Very what, much. what are we drinking? We're, uh, Mornington Pale Ale. Mornington Pale Ale, never heard of that one. Oh, bloody good, man. It is. Alright, we're going to enjoy uh, barbecue and hopefully it doesn't rain much more.